welcome to the first episode of Burns TV. I'm Dan. And I'm James. And today we're going to be talking about heads, various different types of heads. Um, the two main mates are Remo and Evans. James is going to be talking about Remo and I'm going to be talking about Evans. So let's okay. take it away. Okay. I'm going to start off with the uh, coated ambassador. So the first exhibit. So this is your single ply coated head with a, with a texture coated finish. And it's really the industrial standard snare head. So if you're wondering if you have a cheap drum kit like a CB or something and you want to make it the snare drum sound a bit nicer, I guess yeah. my vote every time is the snare drum head I usually yeah, use. Probably our most popular head as well in mm. the shop. What's the, what's the equivalent in the Evans then? The yeah. equivalent of Evans is a G1 coated. Oh, super, yeah. It's pretty much exactly the same thing. Um, again, texture coated. Let's hear it. Same pitch. Same pitch, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, texture coated, single ply. Uh, yeah, just a different name on it, basically. But um, equally as good, we'll, we'll make make the drum sound better. They're Again. quite, they're quite, um, they're quite good to get the real tone of a of a drum. If you if you've just spent you know, thousand pounds on some beautiful snare drum, you know, it'd be a shame to then get uh, like a double ply coated head with a ring and then a power centre, and then you're choking all the nice sound exactly. with the shell you just spent. It, it is a single ply head, um, as James said. So basically, it's it's just going to let the drum ring. The, yeah. the natural tone of the drum as opposed to just deadening it all the way down. Right. On your um, on your emo heads, they've got different. Um, you've got the ambassadors, and then you've got the emperor. Now the emperor is more important than the ambassador, right? So his so that head, that drum head is thicker. A diplomat isn't a very important guy, so his head's really thin. So you can work yeah. out what's it, what's he going to be. So diplomat's thin, ambassador thicker, emperor thickest. The emperor's actually too high. Here you are. So that's that's the um. The emperor. I know it looks like you can see like oil inside. People always say that about these in the pinstripes. These are the kind of classic contests. The difference is, well, they're both two ply. They're both clear, but they, you can get them coated as well. And um, but in this one, the two heads are joined. See the black line. That black line is where the, the two heads are joined together. So they give you quite a fat. Sound these, which is why they're popular. Yeah, not especially the rock world, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, exactly, rock drum as well. So, uh, but a lot of session guys are dancing on their DVDs. They're all playing these emperors. Yeah, Thomas Lane, yeah. Kira Jimbo, Steve Smith, they all say they're well, playing just, yeah, emperors. Yeah. So, how about you, Tom Head? What, what, what do you got? Tom Head wise, um, <coughs> we have the equivalent of the, um, the emperor, which is the G2 coated. So it's a two-ply head. Oh, G2 clear, I thought it was. Yes, it's a, a two-ply head, again, um, pretty much the equivalent, the Evans equivalent of the Emperor. Uh, again, you can see a kind of kind of oil in there as it is two heads compressed together. Uh, yeah, but yeah. it's just, a, it's just an optical illusion, there's yeah. no oil in between. Yeah. Although Evans do do a one they way do oil do, in yeah, I was just going to bring that up. Let's have a look. Called the hydraulic, and you can get it in three colours, I think. Black, blue and glass. Yeah, glass is the clear one. This is the blue one. Hey, look at that. And you probably can't see on the camera, but it does have little oil spots in there because it is. It's too right up. Go on. People want to see. So true. Look, it's blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it's two heads, isn't it? With the. Uh, person's it? going. Oh, but my one monitor is only black and white. My, t my computer. How old are their computer? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> It, yeah, it's uh, it's two heads with uh, a kind of separation in between with a bit of oil in between. Yeah, they're called the hydraulic. So what's oil. the sound like? It's very very dead. Um, as oh. you can hear, almost no resonance whatsoever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a thuddy sound, um, very similar to the pinstripe actually, but I guess even more so. Well, it's even more thuddy than yeah, a pinstripe. I guess it? like a pinstripe with an O ring or something. Like a pinstripe. It's got a pinstripe around it. It's I know it's a pinstripe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah I guess. I've seen a lot of people use these as their resonant heads. Yeah. What do you use? I um I just use G ones on the bottom, clear G ones. And what about the top? On top G two coated. G two coated. Yes. So okay. yeah. So that's like if the the equivalent in the Remo of that would be a, a two ply coated head would be the Emperor. And yeah, single ply bottom head would be a ambassador. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, there's always an equivalent. Well, I use um the old. Uh, 
coated ambassador on my snare drum, but also on my toms. So I, I just go for a whole set of these. How about on one of my kit. Oh, again, the clear version of these yeah, on the other knee. So, so the idea options. is almost identical heads, one coated, one clear on the yeah. other side. And then I tune them the same pitch. Yeah. On the, on the, and on the top. What about yeah. you? I usually tune the bottom really low, almost flappy. Oh, and, right. then, uh, and then the top quite low as well, because I like a deep, deep sound. I usually use um, Moon Gel or O-Ring. You see, there's, a, there's something going on here. We're, we're trying to, everyone's trying to mute their drums down. I know. Oh, no. it's, uh, it's quite sad, really, isn't it? <laughs> when you tune out your drums, if you're just playing the drum kit at home and practicing, you, you say to yourself, oh, my drum kit is so boomy and so ringy. And a lot of that gets lost when you do a gig, because that, that mm. ring, is a lot of that is volume, and a lot of that gets lost in the wash of the band. So you can mute your drum kit down, make it sound fantastic for the studio or in your practice room. As soon as you take it into a bigger room or, a, or, a, yeah. or someone yeah. wails on a guitar next exactly. to you, then, then, then you don't have enough volume it's and you wish you hadn't right. muted it down so much. Exactly. Now, is this beastie? Emperor X. It's an Emperor X, yeah. So now you often see black dots. We may do CS dot, which is a, a head. CS stands for control sound, and they do clear and uh, coated heads with the black dots on. The, um, the Emperor X is a combination of that and an Emperor. So like I said earlier, the Emperors are the two-ply heads. So it's a two-ply coated head with a dot. So mega dry. Mega dead, yeah. Just like that. <laughs> Sounds like a bass drum. Yeah. Like, crank that right up tight, that will be as crisp as ever. I used my Lars Ulrich from Metallica. Oh. Famously. <laughs> um, Do I have any endorsement? <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess uh, kind of equivalent of... Uh, Oh, would, be the, the would be the power centre. Is it's, that the one you use? This is the one I use. Uh, again, it's it's very thick. Uh, it's, it's a double ply coated head, so it's a G2 coated head. So that's what you buy like this Emperor G2? Yeah, I believe so. This feels thicker than Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's maybe a single ply. This is a single ply head <laughs> with, a, with a patch in the middle. Um, so a reinforcement patch. It's called a power centre patch. Um, that and patch is on the top? Yeah. You can get the version of it on the bottom as well. I think so Nemo do both on the top and bottom as well, yeah. Oh, I guess it's CS. If you're playing with brushes, you don't want the dot on you the top. You don't want the dot on the top, yeah. Could get, yeah, caught. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's just a very dead sound. Um, a lot of attack, not much resonance. Again, trying to trying to mm. deaden down the drum. <laughs> By this point, if you're still watching this, you must be a real drum nerd. Yeah. Okay, to, so I think we've bored everyone. To, to care to <laughs> <laughs> about what we're talking <laughs> But anyway, give us a shout at the shop. We'll pop in if you want to find out how to make your drum kit sound good. Yep. We'll have to do a whole. We're going to do a separate episode all about tuning with Michael. Yeah, because he's, he's the, he's the man. Yeah. But they're, they're just a few heads that you can go for. Um, set different styles, different sounds, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, as James said, pop in the shop. We'll be happy to give you more advice. <laughs>